part of the genetic behavior, you know, the, the genetic social behavior of the country. People here are daring, are willing to try, are willing to sacrifice their best years in order to try and achieve something big, something meaningful. The financial reward, the economic reward is there, but it, it's being driven by much more primal, primal forces. Israel was always a startup nation. If you look into the history, you know, the bunch of people who came to this part of the world 120 years ago where nothing was here, Israel was a startup. And the kibbutzim were startup, and Technion was startup. If there would be no Technion, I think that uh, we wouldn't have the kind of technological infrastructure, technological uh, industry, high tech industry. Everything started in the Technion, in the other institutes which were created maybe 60 or 70 years after the Technion. Technion graduates uh, were the teachers, so I think this is where everything started. What is startup is taking certain frontier and trying to push the, the envelope. Sometimes you are doing it for financial rewards, sometimes you are doing it for national rewards, but the, the drive, the willingness, the talent, the acquiring of tool by education, all of, all of it is being derived from some state of mind. And this is why we are we are a startup nation. I maintain a very strong belief that if you look into the virtues of the Israelis, our main advantage is to come with an idea from an empty chaos to get an idea, to create proof of concept, to build around it the beginning, and then when it comes to standard manufacturing, etc., this is not our this is not our advantage. Most of the startups are being bought by large American and now European countries. Intel has in Israel 7,500 people. This is big. The first facility of Intel was in Hi-Fi, so it was uh, the Technion and the ability of the Technion who do Intel into the country. IBM has 6,000 people. Motorola has 4,400 people. Cisco has close to 1,000 people. Google came here, AOL came here, Yahoo came here, Computer Associate came here, Polycom came here. We have here tens and tens and tens of the best technological brands in the world. Fifteen good years I spent in on and off in the Technion. It really affected my life, not only from the education point of view, but also from the friends, from the environment, from the cultural aspect, from the value system. It was, uh, was very, very interesting, very important and very rewarding years. <laughs>